It was one of those stories that you didn't see coming, that you couldn't actually believe. It was exactly two years ago today, on April 30th, 2018, that it was confirmed that Zelko Buvak, Liverpool's assistant manager, would not work with the first team for the remainder of the season. It was a huge shock. Buvak was Jurgen Klopp's closest confidant and the man Klopp affectionately called the brain. And what about the timing? Just two days before the crucial Champions League semi-final, second leg in Rome versus Roma. Naturally, speculation was rife that Buvak would never return, speculation that proved to be true. But at the time, Liverpool would not comment, other than to say that Buvak's departure was for personal reasons, and that his position as Klopp's right-hand man was unaffected. And the Bosnian Serb was very much Klopp's right-hand man. Buvak had been at the German side for 17 years, at Mainz, Borussia Dortmund, and then at Liverpool. They were clearly close, but sources at the time suggested Buvak had become increasingly distant and withdrawn. With the 0-0 draw with Stoke at Anfield on April 28, 2018, proving to be his last match of the season, and his last for the club. The 58-year-old never returned to Anfield. Again, at the time, there was fear among the Liverpool fans that they had been here before. The Reds were not quite the same after Gerard Houllier lost his assistant, Patrice Berg, in 2001. So too, Paco Ayesteran after he left his position as Rafa Benitez as assistant manager in 2007. History, however, did not repeat itself. Yes, Liverpool went on to lose the 2018 Champions League final, going down 3-1 to Real Madrid in Kiev. But since then, the Reds have been virtually unstoppable, winning the 2019 Champions League final in Madrid when they beat Tottenham 2-0 and following that by lifting the UEFA Super Cup and FIFA Club World Cup. Better will come, of course, when Klopp's brilliant side get their hands on the Premier League title. And a key feature of the Reds' rise and rise is the man who eventually replaced Buvak, Pep Linders. Linders returned to Anfield in June of 2018 after a stint of managing in Holland, but it was not until Buvak officially left his post in January 2019 that the Dutchman was confirmed as Liverpool's assistant manager. Interestingly, in his updated version of his biography on Klopp, German football expert Raphael Honningstein said that Buvak had become unhappy at Liverpool due to Linders' growing influence at the club, before he left for a six-month stint back in his native Holland. Honningstein said, Buvak gave the impression that he wasn't happy with the increasing influence of the fourth assistant coach, Pep Linders. The relationship between Buvak and Klopp has survived, but both could simply no longer work together. Buvak had been linked with the Arsenal job, following Arsene Wenger's departure but he did not return to football until February 2020 when he was announced as the new sporting director of Dynamo Moscow in Russia. By that stage, Klopp and Liverpool had already proved they could move on from the man who was such an important figure on the training ground at Melwood. And not just move on, but get even better. 